Right then, so this is going to be just a, a random video. Um, there's a few bits I'm wanting to do with BMW over at weekend, so I'm going to nip into town. Um, yeah, going to nip into town, grab some money, call it a Brecker's yard for the other half because she needs some bits for a car, so um, I have looked online for them, can't find them anywhere, so going to go down to Brecker's yard, see if they've got what we need. Um, and then I need to go get some paint, so stay tuned. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste right, so we're down at uh, local Brecker's yard now. They haven't got the bits that we need, although I have spoke to the guy that runs it and he's said to call back next week and hopefully they will have the brackets in that I need. Basically, in the back of the course of C, there's a bracket that bolts in the middle that holds the seats together and then on the back there, where that little block is, is like a, like a pin that when you fold the seats upright and lock them into place, that bar that sits there, um, the seats bolt to that bar. Um, obviously, she's driving my old Corsa. I took the seats out because I was using it as transport um, just to carry things around in. Sort of like using it as a van, so I need to look for them brackets for her because she's learning to drive currently and we need to get the seats back in the car. So, unfortunately, all these Vauxhalls and they haven't got any. So, we're going to have to call back next week, but now I'm going to head off to... ASK at Kippex, you'll have probably seen me there before. Um, I'm gonna nip there, grab some paint, because I want to paint the inside of my car. All this, all up here, I wanna paint all that, inside at boot, boot floor, and this brace bar that I had welded in about, I don't know, about six months ago. I wanna get that painted up and get some stickers on it or whatever, I don't know yet, but let's head off up to ASK and we'll go grab some paint. Right guys, so we've been to ASK, picked up some primer and some clear coat. We've just come down to uh, chip and paint in Castleford now. We're gonna go get some colours made up and see which ones that we prefer. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left. And I So it's a new day, I didn't actually get a chance to start doing anything with car over at weekend because basically the weather were a bit crap so we're going to try and make a start on it today um, let's see how far we get. So then guys I appear to be a bit of a hoarder and I've got loads of crap in my car so I need to start by getting I need to start by getting it all out of my car because it is full of crap. Seat, seat, magazine, so much crap in here guys, I'm sure you don't want to see it all so I'll come back in a bit. Right so all I'm basically doing to start is just taking a sanding pad and I'm just rubbing down inside it boot. It's not going to be a perfect job, isn't this? It's just going to be a rush job. Through the wastelands, through the highways, to my shadow, to the sun rays, and on and on we'll go. So, guys, I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get some proper sandpaper so I can rub it down properly, because that isn't doing anything, and there's a lot of effort going into it for very little result, so I'll be back with you as soon as I can. Right, so I've had a bit of a thought, and my thinking process with this now is let's try and use a bit of water with those sanding pads because water always helps with wet sanding stuff down, or it has done it past. So I've just got a bit of kitchen roll to wipe up all the water that I'm going to be putting inside at boot. Um, water, bowl, I need a bowl, hold on. I need a bowl to put some water in. I'm not going to use a glass one because that would be silly if I drop it. Right, we've got a little tub. Get some tub, a little bit of washing up liquid because it helps, and then fill that with water. 
Washing up liquid acts as like um, like a degreasing agent. So let's go back out to the car and let's see how far we get this time. Right, so I've come to the realisation that this ain't going to be a decent job. Uh, just going to work with it, just going to paint it primer, put some colour on, clear coat it. I just sent it, I just put some primer on it. It's on it boot so it doesn't have to be perfect. I ain't bothered really rubbing it down so I'll let you have a look. Right, so as you can see, I've just started primering the floor. There's some bits here and there, but it'd be right. Drift car, don't have to be perfect. But I've primed my little brace bar, still need to take my seatbelt off. Uh, yeah, it don't look too bad. I'm gonna mask off fault glass and everything, and I've got both front doors open just to get a bit of ventilation in there. So that's all I'm doing to prime up floor. Uh, just giving it a quick couple of coats. I'm going to put some colour on. So you can finally see what colour I decided to go for. But it's turning out alright so far. So let's just crack on and see how it looks. But I don't know how much of it I'm going to be able to film. I still need to get a tripod for my camera or for my phone. Because I am using my phone to record. Right guys, so the weather's not really in my favour much today. So I just got on with job. Um, I have finished primary in boot and I have painted it. So sorry for not filming much, but you kind of get the gist of what I'm doing. But this is the boot floor. I've still got it to clear coat. Um, but yeah, we'll just show you how far I've got. Right guys, so this is the colour that I've gone for, it's like a bronze metallic, don't look too bad, just to give it a bit of colour really, I think it'll look a lot better once it's sunny and when it's got clear coat on it, but that's where we've got to, looks pretty good to me and it'll do, so we'll leave this to dry and put some clear coat on it. Uh, time for clear coat. I'm gonna put some clear coat on it now, and then I'll show you the end result. So let's crack on. Shaky, shaky. Difficult doing this with one hand. Oh no, don't start to rain. Oh, bollocks. And this, guys, is why I need a garage to work in. So I'm always working on stuff outside in rain. Can never seem to get anything done. Because the second, because I live in England, the second I start to work on anything, it rains. Fantastic. Right then, so. That's going to be it for this video, I can't do any more because it's raining so I'll have to carry it on when it stops raining. Um, I still need to attach my seatbelt because it is my daily car and I can't drive it yet because the paint's still wet. As you've just seen I've just started clear coating it but because it rained I can't do any more today. I have to put it off for another day yet again. Oh well, stuff happens, can't be helped. So that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing.
See you later.